Oh my gosh, that was a sick hit. There's another one. That is a nice one. It feels like a good one. There is a big one. Ah, get that thing. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Orange 22 Fishing. Thanks so much for clicking on this video today. I guarantee you, you are gonna like it. It's gonna be very action packed and exciting. We are already home from this excursion. I just got all cleaned up, but I did wanna film this intro after the fact, just because whenever we go out, uh, you never know what's gonna happen and how the day's gonna go and what ponds are gonna go to and everything. But today we fish with another Delaware YouTuber, 302 Fishing, and it's always fun when we do that. We can share some spots, get out and talk about fishing and also do some fishing. And that's exactly what we did today, and you guys will see how the video plays out with that. We went to a couple different ponds, and we had some really good success. He caught a giant, and as well, I caught a giant, which you guys will just have to wait and see. But I guarantee you're going to like it, so if you would not mind doing so, go down there, click that subscribe button, help us out. Let's get to 600 subscribers, guys. We're almost there. Like this video, comment, and share it with your friends, as always. And one more thing before we get into this video, guys. Dan's channel is linked right down there below. Make sure you hop over to his channel, check out his angle of this video, and as well, subscribe to his channel. He has some really cool content. He's very local, just like we are. And uh, I think you'll enjoy his stuff. But for now, let's just hop right into this footage. Enjoy. Boom! <laughs> All right, guys, let's get after it today. We got Dan way down there starting his episode, and we're gonna start ours. Matty already got it started off with that uh, three pounder that got off on his whopper plopper. So let's hope the whopper plopper bite is on. And like Dan said in his video a second ago, that blackbird is trying to kill me. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get right down in here. I don't even know how deep this is, man. This is crazy. Yeah. This thing could be deep. I have no idea because the water is super, super murky, but we are down here with the snakes and the spiders and God knows what else. It's pretty shallow actually. So uh, yeah, we're in this little calm area and it's windy out there. So it's great plopper conditions. I can't wait to hopefully get one here. Looking for a big one today. Between the three of us, I'm pretty confident somebody's gonna get a giant. So dude, I'm just waiting for something to destroy that thing right there, man. Man, the guy that is already here while we're fishing, we walked up, he said he caught a four and a half earlier. And of course, Maddie just had that three. So again, this is a pond that we've never been on before. You never know what to expect, what kind of baits they're gonna wanna bite and everything like that. But uh, it does seem like this pond does have some big fish in here. So we're throwing the big baits, hoping for one of those big ones. Look at the action on that plopper, man, holy crap. Oh, that is a good cast right there. That is a good cast. Matty had his blow up out in the middle, so I'm curious if they're gonna be in the middle or if they're gonna be tight to structure. I would think in this heat today, they would be tight to structure, but you never know. We can cast pretty much the other side of this entire pond right here with this whopper plopper. So we are definitely gonna cover some water and we're gonna move throughout the day. We're gonna be moving on to some different baits if this one doesn't succeed, so. We got lots of time this afternoon. Might hit a couple more spots too. And uh, man, I'm just waiting for that big blow off. This thing just looks too good right now. I see how far I can walk out here before it drops off. Starting to drop right about here. Some rocks and everything. It actually is starting to really drop off. Oh yeah, oh wow, that really does drop off. That's good. I was hoping it wasn't too shallow and it looks like it does get decently deep out in the middle. Guy down there just said there's a seven pounder in here that he caught. So, you know, I don't, I don't know him. I don't know how accurate that is, but if he's, uh, if he knows this stuff and there's a true seven pounder in here, whew. I told you, first cast. Yep. It feels like a good one. Got a two pounder. Ah. I told you. 
All right, guys, I had a feeling that bait would be the money. Man, guys, awesome way to start off the day. Go ahead. I was actually reeling it pretty fast. It was like five seconds after it hit the water, so it was still on the way down. This water is murky as heck, so we got to go with loud and disturbing baits today all day long. No Senkos, no finesse. We're going strictly moving baits because right now, this is just so dirty, man. You can't even see like a foot, not even half a foot probably down in the water. You guys know the drill by now as far as how we attack new bodies of water. Come out with those loud and aggressive baits first off. And you can't get much more loud and aggressive than this Whopper Plopper right now. This thing is calling in bass from everywhere. And they're gonna see this bait. It's just a matter of if one is uh, provoked enough to hit it. Just put on a lipless man going with the Guggen Squad clutch in that sexy shad color that I caught my PB on a few months ago. Fish guys, nice fish, nice fish. There we go. That is a nice one. Just switched over to the lipless. We got like a solid two, three pounder and he munched it, man. Freaking munched it. Freaking absolutely crushed it, man. Look how he ate that lipless. Oh my goodness. That thing absolutely destroyed the Guggen Squad clutch. I'm gonna need some pliers or something to get this one out because he literally ate it. Gotta get out of here and wade my way back to shore. Get some pliers going on. Obviously when you're not keeping a fish, which I never have eaten a bass in my life and I never will, you always wanna release them happy and healthy and do your best to get these hooks out of there when they eat it that bad. But that is how you know how you're throwing the right bait when a fish chokes it that deep. He did not think twice about it. Definitely over exaggerated on the size too when I when that thing hit because uh, he hit super hard, but about a pounder, honestly, to start the day. Nice little fish, and we'll get him back down here. He's not bleeding or anything, so he should be fine. See ya, bud. First fish, let's go. There's another one. Got another one. It's a decent one. Yeah. Oh, threw it. Yeah, I threw it right at the... Ah! Right at my feet. Whew, it has been tough out here, guys, man. I have thrown around a lot of casts that y'all haven't seen because who wants to see somebody fishing and not catching, right? So we're gonna move over to another pond here in a minute. Probably gonna be throwing some of the same baits and hopefully our luck changes a little bit. It's been a grind out here in the wind and the hot sun, but still holding out hope for that real big one at the end of the day. Pond number two on the day. It has been a grind so far. Dan is uh, still yet to catch a fish. Maddie's got a couple ones as you've seen. I've caught one, but it's been tough. Huh? All right. So Dan says it's a little bit murky up here, but uh, yeah, pond number two, we're gonna see what happens. He's throwing a buzz bait, I believe. Always try top water first. That's what I like to do, but we'll just see what happens out here, man. Gonna really be changing up my baits a lot. Just trying to crank this one out, man, cause it's been tough so far. This is a huge pond, by the way. I mean, it goes way down here. It goes way down in that corner. There's somebody swimming in there, I believe, or a dog or something. What the heck? You guys probably can't see that over there, but there's something in the water. I don't know. Ah, it's a remote control boat. That's what it is. All right. They're not fishing, Dan. They got a remote control boat. So I'm gonna let Dan do his thing over here on this end of the pond. And uh, I'm gonna walk right up here, kind of onto the main pond a little bit more, probably some deeper water. And we're gonna get this thing rolling right along, or try to anyway. I think Maddie's plopping again, so maybe he'll get a big one on that. I'm hoping good things for that. As you can see here, somebody has been fishing on this pond because here is a big old ribbon tail. Definitely probably a heavily fished area, so it might be tough out here today, but we are gonna do our thing as we always do, and more times often than not, we do come through. Starting off with a lipless again. 
see if we can get on that nice moving bait bite. This pond is giving off those classic, you know, Delaware residential pond vibes. Super shallow along the edges, nasty scum, murky water. You guys know the drill. Two hours later. Alrighty, folks, so we're walking up on what could possibly be the last pond in the night depending on how it goes here but it's looking really really juicy so i'm hoping we'll get some fish got the whopper plopper 90 tied on because i know there is some smaller fish that might try to hit this and the day has been pretty slow so i will take anything i can possibly catch also i have a chatter bait but i kind of doubt i'll be throwing that cut down a bunch of stuff though which makes it a lot easier to fish that's awesome. Make our way down here. This is where I always start off. Oh my gosh, that was a sick hit. Right at the edge, I saw him come out and nail it. Awesome. Good one pounder right here. Maybe a little more. Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. Oh, I can't get over how cool that was. He crushed that whopper plopper. Jeez. Oh, nice. One of the coolest blow ups I've ever seen. About a one and a half pounder right there. Awesome fish. Dude, I cast it way out in the middle brought it right up and paused it right at the edge of these weeds right here yeah. and i saw the, him wake and just boom slam it right out of the water yeah. all right guys go ahead and let this bass go awesome try to get him out over the scum i have lost count guys i don't even know what number pond this is but it has been a day we've been fishing for like eight hours out here and this is the last one of the night. We're doing top water only as the sun sets. Dan's over there, Maddie's on his way. And man, hopefully that big one just comes right up out of here. Gonna be using the monkey butt 75 whopper plopper. And hopefully we can plop one. Literally only top water baits right now. This has been a failure of a day for us so far, but it can always redeem yourself with just one cast. So. Let's hope that changes here. All right, they're over there screwing around. I know where the good spot is on this pond. You guys know what the deal is. We're gonna catch a big one. Water's clear today, so I went with the monkey butt walk, whopper plopper. I cannot speak, it's been a long day. But uh, with this clearer water, it's a little something more natural for them. A little blow up right there. There's a big one. Ah! Get over here, Dan. Yes! Giant, dude. Let's go! Oh! Holy oh my! Crap. Get that thing! Let's go! Oh no! 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 Wow. Let's go! Oh, that's good, baby. That's got to be a five pounder, guys. That's how it's done. Let's go! That's I got your buzz bait. Right, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. There it is. I got your buzz bait. <laughs> it ain't over yet, sucker. What are you talking about? Wow, that is a really, really nice. Jeez! Wow, that uh -huh. thing is a giant. Uh, what are you calling? Oh, uh, four and a half. Four point three. Uh, 4.7. What is she? Oh, oh look, at look at that. Four pounds, 12, 12 ounces. ounces. <laughs> <laughs> guys, look at the bucket on that thing, guys. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. All right, guys, I'm out of my mind right now. Look at this fish. <sighs> Four pounds, 12 ounces. Huge old mouth on him this pond has giants guys the last time i was here i caught a 4.2 pounder and now four pounds 12 ounces awesome night of fishing it's all worth it the six hours of fishing we've done today <sighs> one last look 
absolute giant bass. Let's go ahead and let him go. That's the best part. There she goes. Right back out to where she came from. Oh! <laughs> Wow, absolutely crazy guys, absolutely crazy. I don't even know what to say. There you go, begging dude, begging. Get over here, Dan. Yes. Giant, dude. Let's go. Ah, holy crap. Ah! <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> wow. Let's go. Ah, let's go, baby. That's gotta be a five pounder, guys. That's how it's done. Alrighty, folks, that is the end of today's video. If you're still here, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of all over the place, but sometimes that's just how it is, and we did end up getting that big bass, which was really awesome. Dan got one as well. So it was kind of like joking back and forth who was going to have the bigger fish. Uh, but it's all fun and games when we go out with him and it was just an awesome time. So thanks so much for watching again guys. Subscribe, comment, like, and share this video out. Help us keep growing our channel and remember to subscribe to Dan's channel as well. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks again. Bang.